Today, we're gonna be talking about my vending machine business. Since it's been about three months since I have updated you guys, and boy, have I made a mistake with my vending machine company. A couple of days ago, when I was about to go collect from my candy machine, I realized that I could not find the keys for it. And after realizing I didn't know where my keys were for the candy machine, I began looking everywhere for them. I looked all around my house, I looked in my car, and I even called the location where my candy machine is to make sure I didn't accidentally lose my keys there. Unfortunately, I could not find my keys for my candy machine despite looking everywhere. So in this video, I'm gonna be getting my vending machine off of the location for a couple of days. I'm gonna be drilling out the lock, I'm gonna be ordering a new lock and attaching it on the vending machine. This is an unfortunate and relatively costly mistake. And I assure you, after this experience, I'll be sure to keep track of my vending machine keys. So everyone, with that all being said, I'm gonna be heading Heading to my location now to take my vending machine back home. You are about to witness a cold startup on a 2007 Toyota Corolla LE. So we're at the location where my candy machine is at right now, and it's time to go break the bad news to the store employees. We're closed, guys. Oh, you're, you are closed? Okay. Um, I am the vending machine guy. Yeah. Um, and I was actually gonna let you guys know um, I have to take the machine off for a couple of days because unfortunately I lost the key to get into the machine. So I'm gonna have to take the to the lock out and I'm gonna have to put a new lock in. Right. And then I'll have it back on location in like three or four days. So I'm really sorry about that. Okay, can you come tomorrow and we'll get it? Uh, yeah, I can see. So what time do you guys close? 5 p.m. 5 p.m., what time is it now? Uh, it's like five after, 10 after. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, All right. No worries, man, no worries, it's okay. <laughs> right. You wanna hang out for 10, 15 minutes? I can well, before I come the door down and lock up the front office, I can let you grab the machine. All right, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, All right, perfect. Tight, okay, All right. Appreciate it. Okay everyone, so I hope I was able to get as much on video as possible, but in case I didn't, here's a little bit of a summary of what happened. I tried to enter the location where the candy machine was and the store had actually closed five minutes earlier. We're closed guys. Oh, you're, you are closed? Okay. But luckily, I found some employees outside of the store taking a smoke break and they let me go in still and get my candy machine. You wanna hang out for 10, 15 minutes? I can well, before I come the door down and lock up the front office, I can let you grab the machine. All right, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. I loaded it in my trunk, and now we're ready to go back home, drill the lock off of the machine, and attach a new one. What is up, everybody? It is now the next day, and I'm here in my garage. Here in my garage. With this vending machine. Today, we're gonna be drilling the lock off of this candy machine, and then after the lock is drilled off, we're gonna collect the cash from this vending machine, because you can hear that quite a bit of money is in here, and we're gonna be ordering a new lock for this vending machine. So everyone, wish me luck. I'm gonna go inside, watch some YouTube videos on how to drill the lock off of vending machines, and then I'm gonna come back out here and try to drill the lock off myself. Drilling the lock off of a vending machine doesn't really seem too complicated. Pretty much all you need to do is you put the head of the drill on the lock of the vending machine, you drill all around, and eventually the lock will fall out, and we'll be able to collect the money from the vending machine and attach a new lock. 
All right, everyone, so we have the vending machine right here. We've got the drill, and we've got eye protection. Hopefully this works. Okay, everyone, so a little bit of an update. The top of the vending machine is starting to spin. I'm pretty sure that the lock is now really loose. I'm hope I'm doing this right. I'm not sure, but I'm just gonna keep drilling. Holy smokers, this is so loose. Like I can almost take this off. We're getting really close, but I feel like I broke some stuff I wasn't supposed to. We're off. It's off. Woo! Okay, everyone, so it is official. The lock was broken off by the drill successfully. I don't think I broke anything. I did accidentally put two holes in this part of the vending machine, but I don't think it really matters. I mean, as long as the machine still works, I'm not gonna replace this whole head part. And I also accidentally got a little bit of metal shards in the candy. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that before I put it back on location. But for now, we're going to collect from the vending machine. And boy, there are quite a few quarters down in the quarter section. I just collected quite a bit of money from this candy machine. I'm gonna put the candy machine back together now. I'm just gonna leave it for now and then we're gonna go inside and count this money. All right, everyone, we're back inside now. I have all of the money I collected from the vending machine in my hand now, and we're gonna go ahead and count it. So in total, we collected $7.80 from the candy machine in one month. And I know that sounds like a weird number because the candy machine only accepts quarters, but some idiot put two dimes and two nickels in my machine, which kind of makes me mad because there's literally a sign on the candy machine that says quarters only. So apparently the person that put this in the machine can't read. $7.80 in one month from my candy machine is not good at all. I'm starting to think about maybe finding a different location for the machine because I feel like it might perform better if I put it somewhere else. So you guys comment down below, should I move the machine to a different location or should I keep it where it's at? Okay everyone, now I'm gonna go online and I'm gonna order a new lock for the candy machine on eBay. Hopefully this doesn't get too expensive. So I just found a vending machine lock and key on eBay for $17.49. This isn't the cheapest one I found, but this one looks like it will fit in my machine almost perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out. It's a little bit of money, but hey, at least I can get my machine back up and running. I'm gonna go ahead and check this out, and it's official, $17.49 for a new lock and key on my vending machine. All right, my order has been officially placed. It should be here on September 7th, so that means I won't get my vending machine back up and running for another six days, but after that, hopefully I can start making money again with my vending machine business. Okay, everyone, I think that about wraps things up for today's video. Definitely stay tuned to find out if I'm able to successfully fix my vending machine or if I'm able to find a new location for my vending machine. Now, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a thumbs up and also subscribe to the Financial Wolf channel if you have not already. And peace out.